Hello, so today I wanted to just do a very quick video to talk a little bit about curl patterns. I get this question a lot. Many times people just kind of want help figuring out what type of curl pattern they have. And most people are familiar with the curl typing system that goes from one to four, with one being straight, two being wavy, three being curly, and type four here being curly to kinky. But one of the things that I think is underappreciated is that a lot of times when people are referring to 4C hair, that's really referring to the tightest curl pattern they know amongst their community. Um, so I have a lot of patients who will come in and say, I think I have 4C hair because it's really hard to moisturize or it's really difficult to take care of. And because I examine hundreds and thousands of uh, scalps a year, you know, I will tell my patients, you know, your hair, I know it, it sounds crazy, but it's actually not that tightly curled. I've actually seen curl patterns that are much tighter. And that's one of the things that prompted me to do this video. So I want to show you this image. A curl typing system that goes from one to eight. So this is actually a scientific study where researchers took hair samples from thousands of people around the world and they used very specific measuring tools to calculate the degree of each curl angle to find out just how many curl patterns exist and when they looked at thousands of samples across the world they found that hair um, shaping really fell into one of eight categories. For the purposes of this video, I really want to focus on types four through eight because those are the most common curl patterns seen in people of the African diaspora. So um, those who are of African descent. And one thing that I want to point out is when you look at the top two rows on the left, you see African and those were participants from Central and West Africa. And on the right, you see African American. And those were mainly participants in the South, Southeast region of the United States. And you can see that among African Americans, the most common curl pattern is a type five, whereas in those of African descent, the most common curl pattern is a type seven. And so one of the things that I tell my patients, a lot of times when I have patients with a curl pattern between six and eight, this is really the curl pattern that's at highest risk for breakage, especially in its natural state, because it requires a lot more TLC. There are more curls and twists along the hair strand and the hair becomes dry very easily and requires constant moisturization. And so you could imagine that in America, we may say 4C hair is hair that is a type six curl pattern or maybe a type seven. You should note that type eight really doesn't even exist in, in the United States. Um, this distribution is actually very similar to what we see in the Caribbean and you can see that all the way on the bottom right. So the curl patterns that were found in African Americans are very similar to those found among Black Caribbeans. Um, and so again, a 4C might be a 6 or a 7, whereas those in Africa having type 6 curl pattern, they may say, you know what, I'm a 4B. Because when they look around, they'll say, you know, my hair, my curl pattern's tight, but it's not that tight, right? It's still very, very dry, but I know that it could be tighter and it could have difficulty reaching longer lengths. And so if you've read my books, if you've seen my blog posts, you'll see that I often refer to 4C+. And the reason I say that is because when I watch many YouTube videos or see social media postings about 4C hair, I'm often seeing a curl pattern type six. And what I'm trying to say to women who feel like they fall on the fringe is that I know that curl patterns beyond 4C do exist. So what's the significance of all this? Well, I want people to understand that there's a wide variety of curl patterns especially within the curly hair community. And so while you may watch a video and see 4C hair, that may be referring to a type six curl, it may not be relevant to your type 
eight curl pattern, you have to realize that as you step towards each additional level on the curl typing system, the amount of effort that it's that is necessary to take care of that curl pattern increases exponentially. And so generally, I think that natural hair styles are really ideal for types five and six. And I think many of us would call that anywhere between a 4A or a 4C. And I think that type seven and type eight curls can also thrive at natural hairstyles, but they're going to do much better at shorter lengths. And remember, that's the evolutionary advantage of curly hair. It's supposed to remain short so that the scalp has an easier time to cool and it's not supposed to grow past the shoulder. And so if you are someone with a tighter curl pattern, like a type seven or an eight, you have to remember a couple of important things. One, please try to avoid use of extensions as much as possible because this is going to prevent your hair from getting the moisture that it needs on a regular basis. Two, if you do want to wear your hair and you want to try it to grow it as long as possible, you may find that texturizing the curl from a type eight to a type six may enhance your ability to achieve length. That is not to encourage people to use chemicals, but it's just to help people better understand what they may be up against. Remember, there are exceptions to every rule. So you may have type seven curls or type eight curls and say, hey, I'm doing great. But if you are someone who's watched these videos and beat yourself up about the fact that you cannot achieve the same styles as someone that seems to have your same curl pattern, just remember that there are some differences and everyone's hair is unique, right? Even if you have two people with the same curl pattern, they may have different porosity, they may have different um, natural density. And so really be sure to give yourself grace. If you have any other questions about this topic or other topics that I've discussed, you can go to my website, crystalagumd.com, or you can check out my free ebook, which is available on my website, or my book, 90 Days to Beautiful Curly Hair. I hope this has been helpful and informative for you. Thanks. Bye.